Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Techie Nubs. I Abhishek, we are a techie with 3.3 years of experience and 4 years in teaching. Welcome you to this course of React. And what are we supposed to do today? We'll add CSS to our app uh, that uh, we created. Here when I say app, it means the React app. So uh, like uh, I will add CSS to the thing that we created today. Okay, and this course, like you see, I'm creating with uh, I, I'm creating it with the help of Newton School. They are the one uh, who will help you guys to get a career in tech. Okay, the best part of them is they will teach you for a period of six months, no fees, until you get placed with a package of five years or more. Their teaching method is quite unique. They teach you, then they provide you a lot of one-to-one -one doubt clearing sessions, a lot of uh, group doubt clearing sessions, and so on. They have a lot of tests like in a platform like what they say proper coding platform like hacker rank and hacker Earth and so on awesome guys so let's proceed ahead um uh, we are i were bringing this course as a part of their product launchpad so you can check out this course both on launchpad and youtube of course launchpad will give you more benefit it will have a lot of assignments and all awesome so now let's get started with our course okay of course we were doing the uh, like react the hard way so we have got the basic uh, hang of the things like uh, we have done index.html this is a place still where we have done hello students click here and our buttons are ready so now we'll understand how to add css to it remember this is not html guys this is jsx so how can i add some uh, what do you say a css to our jsx okay so if i uh, if i need to add a css we used to write style is equals to okay then not a difference here is not the difference okay if you are writing a css in jsx this is the way after the style tag equals to i'll put two curly braces remember two not one two curly braces the outer one then inside one and inside one now let's suppose you have to write things like let's suppose i want to make the things in the center so text align center save it let's have a look okay what is the error here guys is that there are an error i feel so there is an error yeah no there is no error okay so the it has moved to the center text align center so the text has moved from the starting to center uh if you if you feel there is some error you can always inspect it and check it in the console is there any errors no there is no errors uh, no red tags so it will not an, not not an error let's close it so the worth noting things is okay like how do i write a style tag write the style keyword equals to then the things are written in, inside the uh, like double uh, um, uh, this uh, bracket so uh, curly braces right double curly braces one thing more noting how did i write used to write text align center this is not the way text uh, align right I, i'm sorry text dash dash align this was the way i used to write in css right but here all the dashes are removed okay and you can replace the second word with the capital letters like background color like for example if you have to write background color background color so what will you replace it with background remove the color that's all so what is after that underscore or dash just remove it and put it like color uh, like remove that and put it color okay like the next the first letter should be capital whenever you combine two words okay so this is how it is done nothing there is a, a no big thing here okay um, so now we can start with text align in the center the things has been in the center okay expected assignment of function for instance so I, so I expression background color this was about the background color that i wrote it just now okay now it's not there i wrote it here right to explain it to you okay now things here this is the way we can style the things in line okay so i'll keep this in line style so if you want to style it some in line always remember it okay in jsx we style it in a different way clear style then curly braces in the inside the curly braces we'll write the properties okay and but when you write it make sure if they are underscore you replace it by the next letter remove it and the next letter should come as capital awesome so now let's do now let's style it with the external things the other things so let's create a click on style We'll create a, a external file let's name it style.css our usual name okay so first let's change the background i hit the file background body background and what background should i go with hmm, is the spelling a background wrong this will have given me some suggestions eh? anyway no problem 
uh, I'm not sure about the color. So whenever you are not sure about the color, what can you do? Let's go to here, color. Uh, that you can check out this website like what they say mm. Mm, uh, like there is a website I just uh, forgetting the name of it anyway color codes yeah color code rapid tables okay this is the one I like it a lot okay you can choose the shades of the color whichever you like so let's suppose I want to choose a background color this one I hope it will look good no idea let's check this background let's put it here semicolon the seven let's come back oh my color has not changed why very simple answer guys whenever we have created a style file i always have to link it right until you link it you cannot uh, see the changes right so how will i link it in index.js so basically the way we link in html is different if you need to in uh, like react you can just import it so what is the way to import import i want to import the full file this codes okay now if the file is in the same repo dot slash what will dot slash do in, by dot slash the things will be present it will give you it will be in the same file so style dot css let me give you some more examples let's suppose i want to import this uh, index.html file how can i import it import okay now see this index.html file is not present inside this src file in which my current folder in I am in my index.js, right? In which my index.js is there. It's in a different folder. So first I have to get outside this folder. So to get outside the current folder, double slash dash. So now you are getting the suggestions automatically the folders that is out. So you need to go to public. Inside the public, you need to go to index.stm. Right? Awesome. Let's do it for one more time to some other files. So you'll get a hang of it how to import it. Let's suppose I want to import this package.json. How can I import it? I try writing everyone in the comment how if you can import it properly. Okay, then match it with me. So I'll give you a second to write it or you can pause the video. Okay, so now import. Okay, now again this you can see this package.json is outside my source folder. So if I, to, if I have to go outside my source folder, I'll write double dot slash. Now I am outside my source folder. I have which I have to select package.json. So package.json. Awesome. Very good. Guys. Now let's say this. Import style.css. Again, let's do it. Here I am inside a current folder. I don't have to get outside the src. So dot slash means in my current folder. What do you want to import in my current I'm already in index.js. Of course, you cannot import the same thing, right? So I'll import this style dot css. Style dot css. Okay import is clear how you can import something awesome let's go here let's uh, let's do here we imported a lot of things so it may give, give you an error so now my background color is there right okay uh, okay now what i want uh, like i want to make the come uh, like this div in center right so like uh, what i can do uh, uh, let's come here let's come here first let's style our button a little okay style.css hmm so let's give it a like button let's give it a class name button okay i'm creating a class name button i'll add the class name there right the way we do in css okay so now this button what can i do with these buttons i uh, color i can give them a background color right? background what would be the background color of course let's pick a color shape okay so when you're not uh, which color will go with which choose this thing color palette color palette this uh, with this things you will know which color to use with what i like i think this one color hunter now these are my personal suggestions for the website you can pick the website that you like i choose that color i don't know where is that color. So anyway i'll change the background to this okay now there is a double dot it's okay let's have a look how the things are looking 
It's new. Nothing much difference. Okay. Where am I? Okay. Okay. This is almost new. Okay, now let's come here to the palette. In the palette, let's choose this color for our button. Okay. Background this. Let's save it. Let's have a look at our button. Oh my god, did the color actually change? No, it did not change, I think. Right? Oh, why did not it change? I forgot, sorry guys. We have made a class, no? So if we have made a class, you have to put this class, right? In the button. So, let's give it a class. So how do we give a class? Like we in HTML class and then a class name. So what was the class name we made? Button. Again, if I have to give it here, class and class name. Save it. So now let's come here. Okay, and you saw there is an error. Okay, but this error is not the actual error that I I think I saved it in with me. Okay, so now you can see the things has been colored, but when I go to this place, you will go to inspect now, I may get a small error console and red errors need to be sorted out at any cost warning invalid dom property class did you mean class name yes i mean class name so let's have a look in react you know class is a defined keyword like we have a class in javascript right so we don't use class here instead we use class name so that's the second difference in oh sorry that's the second difference in jsx right class name and class name so now you understood, uh, if I have to write an inline CSS, this is the way I can write it. If I have to write an external file, how to import it. Okay, this import works for all the files. Any file, if you want to import it, works in the same way. And if I, have to, uh, if I made a class name, how can I write a class name? I don't write class, I write class name. Okay, these are two differences. Awesome. Uh, so now I have created a button. So now the next thing is, let's go to style and let's uh, put the next thing. I'll put a padding, now my buttons are looking thin. Padding, let's give a padding like okay. And here now, this is a CSS file, so here you don't need to do those those steps. Like if I write like what is a text align, so here you can like if I have to write here text align, text align. So here I'll choose a normal text align center. No, not that text align, text align like this. No, not like that. This is a CSS file. That there I there are writing JavaScript file inside there. So that that place is different if you're writing it in line. Here I am using an external CSS file, so I write it normally. Okay. Clear? Okay, so let's give it a padding. In the padding, let's choose the padding to be 5 pixels. Not sure. Give it a try. Let's see how it looks out. Okay, that was a error. I think my uh, for some reason I have allowed auto save. So that is why I am getting this error again and again. Uh, so I have to reload it. I will disable that soon. Okay, before the next class. I have to see what I have done in the settings. Okay, so what did I do? Actually, I forgot. Yeah, I have given a padding. So now my buttons look like a little better. And but the problem is to both the buttons are touching each other. I don't want. So I can I can give a margin. Uh, let's give a margin. Margin. So be five pixels. Okay, so margin is 5 pixels. Now I want also want to bring this button in the center. How can I bring this in center? I'll leave that up to you because basic CSS, I think everyone know it, right? I'll leave that up to you. Uh, like what is it? Uh, write in the comments how, how you can bring this button in the center here. Okay, totally up to you. You can customize it the way I've done it. You can change like if you want, you can remove the text line from here center, up, uh, write some other CSS, whatever you want. It's totally up to you. But I, wa I want the answer, guys. Do comment it how I can bring it in the center. Though we don't force, we'll focus not on less on CSS in this one, but any other some basic CSS we can do. Okay, guys. So now you are clear with uh, this. Like uh, I have added a CSS file, which will, which is helping me to style my components. So now I'm styling my component. I style my background. I've styled this component. I have style hello worlds. I'll also put like I don't uh, red uh, white color. No, I'll be, let's make it a color as white, standard color, color as white. Let's save it. Hello students, let's look better. 
Now here also let's make the color is white. Mm, hope looks better. Anyway, uh, we are hardly concerned about the design. Anyway, it looks very weird to me. But anyway, you got the idea. How we use uh, like what do you say CSS with our with our uh, uh, React application. Okay, these two ways you can use it. We can later we'll use Bootstrap, even Tailwind CSS if we have time. So and that's not a problem. But you got an idea. Okay, awesome. So the homework for today class is I want to bring the button in the center. Do comment how we can bring it. Okay. And then from next class we'll proceed we'll we now we are aware of two files what are the use of a css file what is the use of index file and there are some other file we'll make and there, there were seven to eight files earlier right but we not don't no, let's not worry about them as we need them we'll create them so uh, you will have an idea what is the use of one file okay awesome so currently in our, in our index file we have made a like what is a, a component and we have rendered a component okay to the uh, index.html okay and that is being displayed here and then we have added inline CSS and then we have made external file added CSS. So difference is here. If you have to add an inline CSS, the syntax is different. If you, add, if you have to add a class, we don't use class, we use class name. So, okay. Uh, and you can also make a sure it's uh, like, it's starting, so it's okay. But whenever you do a heavy development, I suggest you to open inspect. So you, if you get some error, red errors, you will immediately note it. Okay, awesome guys. Okay, so guys, that's all and we'll meet again in the next video. We'll continue with the third file and some uh, more file and understand the basic idea. Uh, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of that? And we'll keep on going. Okay, so that's all from my video. Do like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay, comment if you need anything. Okay, and also check out the discourse on Launchcad. Bye-bye. See you guys.